by Mitchu, carrying in with Fondalet, gives it to Fondalet at the right circle. He'll have to drive his way down to the corner. Cycle it there for Ishan Mitchu. Poke back down low in a centering feed, free for a shot, scores! Wide open was Emmett Norden from the right hash marks, and the Lloydminster Bobcats get the first goal of the... He's animated during that stop, because I've seen him in my, you know, two going on three seasons with this team. He was very animated with the five Oilers on the ice right now. We'll see how they respond. Alexander off the ozone draw, driving toward the slot, danced around a defender and in behind the net, tried to tuck it in front. Sam Huck scores! There's a response you were looking for. Colton Alexander with a great move to cut in behind the net. Goaltender Solomon had fallen, and somehow he flicks it back in front, and Huck sends it out. Get it ahead for a socket to glove it down and carry in right side. Centers Gorley, backhand right into Solomon, who had fallen out of the seat of his even strength. One for one on the PK. And look out. Dropped off of the point. Huck takes it away. Up the middle. Brody McGuire is in on a breakaway, and he shoots it right into the right pad of Jack. And down the left side, McGuire, the RPI commit, is down behind the net. All the way to the right corner with it. All the way back up top, fed across. Sokka fires it right into Solomon, and the rebound. Carry ah. in by Sokka, and he had it poke check free. And here come the Bobcats, shorthanded. This is Caden Steinke drops it off at the left circle and a shot scores. Oren Olsen from long range beats Shiveler shorthanded and the Bobcats are right back out in front, two to one. And across and it bounced off the stick of Huck at the right side, but he'll recollect, cut up to the high slot with it, and to the left circle, Huck down to the end wall, trying to center, it's off a Bobcat, comes down to Silverberg, but a rolling puck, he'll settle it down, skate left circle, Silverberg cutting out in front, it's Huck jamming at its side of the net, SCORES! Oh, finally, they muscle one into the back of that Lloyd Minster net. And Sam Huck had to put every ounce of effort into that one to knot it back up two to two. Well, I was really frustrated the first half of that five on three because the Oilers were playing on the perimeter. Oh, Halloran holds it, shoots it, and it just misses from long range. Four seconds in the power play. Sam Hall down the left wall, fed across, rolling. He scores! As time expires in the penalty, it's a rocket on the cross ice pass by Jackson Rowland that finds the back of the net for his first of the season. What a beautiful play, right as the penalty was expired. Uh, okay, as it's knife to neutral, my team's back. Right side, Sokka. Tape the tape pass for Gorley, carrying into the left circle. Centering pass, Spack, he scores! Finally, Connor Gorley gets rewarded for his play in this game as he outweighed a defender at the bottom of the left circle, then swept it in front to Dean Spack. The net was open, and all he had to do was tap it in to make it 4-2 Oilers. Yeah, that's the kind of play by uh, Connor Gorley. Minster zone. Solomon had it bounce off his stick. Far side tapper, the takeaway for Ogatokes. Tucked it down low, Colton Alexander centered in. Roland scores! <laughs> Magnificent play at the end wall, and Jackson Roland streaks in down the middle. One times home, his second of the game and the season. Oilers lead 5 to 2. 16 year old. So he's in his third year in the AJ, while you've got a guy who's a year older in Sam Hall who is eligible for the Rookie of the Year award. Yeah. The Fetchner is the second youngest player dressed for the Oilers tonight. Yep. It's kind of astonishing. And, and yet one of the most experienced at Junior A. Fetchner centers this one. Poked out by Huxley. He scores! Right on cue. It's a great setup from the corner by Hayden Fetchner. He fell down. There's no penalty coming out of it. This is so different from all the games we've had this year. We were averaging eight and a half power plays between the two teams per game as Gorley puts one across. Logan McGowan shoots, he scores! Off the rush, Logan McGowan takes the pass, tape to tape from Gorley, snipes it home on Davis, and Okotoks. The extra point is good, it's seven to two. Yeah, Connor Gorley usually more of a, fi a finisher than a distributor, but a pretty good pass by him on that three on two. You can hear them calling from the bench. Uh, right side, rather. He had Look a check free. And now it's going to be a breakaway. Kavanaugh is in down the middle. He cuts forehand. Saved by Scheiveler with the right pad. Point slap shot with three minutes to go and a five goal lead. Pretty great. Nobody turning away from things here. Fed in front of the net. Huck is wide open. Put it back door. Silverberg scores! First is an oiler for Jack Silverberg. 
and Sam Huck made that look almost too easy, settling it down, putting it through the crease. 21 hammers at home, eight to two Okotoks. Yeah, that was just precision. That was. Fine. Alexander had it swatted out of his reach by Fondelet, who got it to neutral. Tapper carries back in, left wing to the half boards, cuts back with it, centers it. Alexander scores! Tapper down to the left half wall, just flings a puck in front, and number nine gets number nine for the Okotoks Oilers. They extend the lead to seven goals. Well, I hope they save some goals for Saturday. Good point, the red line. Add it. Poke free. The Okotoks Oilers looking to embiggen their record was, in this one. Beat me to it. <laughs> I was going to do that. I sensed it. I sensed it. It comes down behind the Lloyd Minster. Look out. Davis turns it over. Saka scores! Good night. So much for the nail biters at the AJHL showcase on day two. The Oilers reach double digits. 2 1 yeah. goal for Lloyd Minster. The Oilers pressed, got a five on three. Never look back, the puck is down. Oilers win, they down Lloyd Minster 10 to two to open up the AJHL showcase in an offensive cavalcade for a team that is now tied with Brooks for number one in the AJHL standings. It is hard to ask for more than that. 10-2, they scored as many goals as their opponents had shots.